This night is like no other night. It is time for us to dream and sing our way to Bethlehem. We are all on a journey there. The little town we seek lies in the hill country, some six miles south of Jerusalem. For thousands of years, houses have gathered, nestled in the hills, like a family breaking bread. Bethlehem means house of bread. In the center of the town is an inn, like a hotel. On this night, it is overflowing with people seeking food and rest. Near the inn is a stable for the animals. A gray donkey is chewing its barley and broken straw. A weary cow is leaning and resting after a long day of work, plowing in the valley. A sheep nearby is nearly asleep. All is settling down to stillness and rest in the little town. As night gathers, two last travelers come up the road to Bethlehem. A young man is walking with a young woman who is about to be a mother. They are Mary and Joseph from Nazareth. They have walked a long way to come to this city where King David was born so many years ago. They have come like so many others so that the Roman emperor can count each one to collect their money in a tax. But it is late and Mary is so tired. Where will they stay? There's no room for them in the inn. They will have to stay with the animals. Stars brighten slowly in the sky. All creation holds its breath. Suddenly, from the stable comes the cry of a newborn child. Mary wraps him up carefully, gently, and lays him in the feed box that Joseph has filled with hay. In the fields nearby Bethlehem, shepherds are out in the darkness, watching over their shadowy sheep. Suddenly, in the darkness, light breaks through and in the darkness is something even brighter, a messenger from God. The shepherds are frightened. What could this be? But the angel says to them, don't be afraid. Listen, I bring you good news, great joy, peace on earth goodwill to everyone, everywhere. A child is born, our Savior, Christ, the Lord, the one we have been waiting for. 
And suddenly with the angels were many more angels singing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill to everyone, everywhere. The shepherds ran through the fields with joy, ran to Bethlehem, to the stable near the inn. There they find the holy family and creep forward, filled with wonder, overwhelmed with mystery, to find the child in this circle of love. Camels plod up the road to Bethlehem. They have come from far away in the east, far beyond the Arabian desert, perhaps from as far away as the Caspian Sea. They carry the wise ones. The Magi. They have come from far away in the east, following the star to see where it will lead them and find the king its shining shows them. The king's journey ends with the discovery of a new kind of king. They fall to their knees and offer him gifts of bright gold sweet smelling frankincense and bitter myrrh, all brought so far with so much expectation. So now we all come following the star to find God with us. We come as people have come through the ages, bringing our own gifts to this child, God's gift of love for us. Holy God, on this night so filled with wonder and mystery, we come to adore you, to celebrate your birth, to thank you for being God with us, for coming to rescue us. We celebrate your birth today, Jesus. We need you. We long for you. We love you. Amen. Merry Christmas. Go in peace.